We have more Fox and Friends coming up, but you know what? <laughs> this is a transition for transitions if you've ever had one. So, so Fox and Friends. This is very Fox and Friends, so ready your heart. It's the fifth Sunday of Lent and our prayer series continues with a reading of prayer from the Hallow app. We all need it, let's do it this morning. Close your eyes if you would, bow your head. Jesus, today we begin. Thank you again to Hallow for this partnership during Lent. Okay, so you could tell by the strategic cut there um, done by the producers that that was actually a much longer prayer um, in the middle of a Fox and Friends broadcast that even made anchor Pete Hegseth a little bit nervous because he said, well, huh, this is a transition of transitions, is it? It's the part where you all pretend to be religious. I'm sure they just got done dunking on the poors and uh, immigrants and now they're gonna be very prayerful with the Hello app, yes. And it was like a minute long prayer as producer Mike reminded us, which is a lot of money. So I don't know, Hello app has got a lot of money, but there they were encouraging everyone to pray and his co-anchor crossing herself. That was a weird one, that was, um, and Yaz, before I, I do wanna ask you about that because um, maybe uh, she's Catholic, I don't know. But she crossed herself in the way that like, I ironically cross myself when I'm just like, you know, oh, I hope the baby's in a good mood. You know, like that type of like, well, we'll see. Like, you know, when people cross themselves and you're like, you've never crossed yourself before, have you? You don't know what that looks like or that is. But that was a straight minute of prayer. I'm of two minds about this one, yes. Part of me thinks, what the hell? Why is there an app? a prayer app being sponsored for about a minute on Fox News. And part of me is like, yeah, get back to doing this. You're effectively an evangelical channel with news peppered in, do that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good point. At, at some point, they have to acknowledge that this is who they are and that they're using religion as a way to attract people, not just to their channel, but also to the Republican Party, even though so much of what the Republican Party does is very anti-Christ-like. So it, well, yeah, th th I have a lot of thoughts about this. And I think what's interesting about it is that you know we live in a country where there's a separation of church and state, and that has always been kind of assumed and understood and not really challenged too much. But now we have all kinds of people actually sitting in Congress and a lot of people who are anchoring on Fox News, which is essentially just a branch of the Republican Party at this point. And they're, they're contesting that, they're challenging that notion. And they're doing it in the name of, well, if it's not us, then it's gonna be someone else. It's gonna be the Jews, or it's gonna be the Muslims, or it's gonna be all of these atheists and agnostics running around the, the country, and probably also the Satanists. If, we, if it's not the Christians, it's going <laughs> to be the Satanists, and God forbid, literally God forbid, I guess. you know. So seeing this partnership, as he called it, on Fox News is very interesting, but it is also very telling. Uh, it's I guess showing that they're really going to be embracing that angle more, more overtly. You know, they're yeah. not going to be as subtle about it going forward. They are going to, you know, in the cross thing. I've never done the. I don't. I don't know how to. I mean, I get. Isn't it across your heart first? I don't know. Yeah, um, I think it's left, but I always I get confused. But but so this is this app is um, it is the Hallow app. It is again. Um, you pray with it. Apparently, Mark Wahlberg voices some of these prayers. Which Hilarious. I think is really <laughs> funny to be like, hey, yo, uh, I don't even know how to do a good Mark Wahlberg, but you know, don't steal, don't don't covet thy neighbor's wife. I did it once, um, and on and <laughs> so on and so forth. But just for for what Yaz was talking about, Fox News is perpetually upset when religion enters in to American life. Wait, I mean, specific religions that are not. Christianity, whenever other religions enter into American life, you get headlines uh, like this. Um, uh, Minneapolis becomes first major US city to allow Muslim calls to prayer at all hours. <gasps> How dare they, that's a Fox headline. Also, New York City allows permitless broadcasts of Muslim call to prayer. Yeah, that's what the call to prayer is. It's out loud, it's mosques will have their calls to prayer, it's kind of the how they work, but anyway, and granted, those are cities that those are not private entities. But can you imagine, yes, for just a second, 
if MSNBC were like, hang on, we're going to call to prayer now. Uh, everyone face Mecca. Like they would lose their minds, right? And because again, what the right cannot accept is that while they say this is a Christian nation, it is a Christian dominant nation. The majority of religious people do identify as Christians. Um, but it is by no means written into the Constitution. In fact, explicitly not written into the Constitution um, and the separations of church and state. And they want to do away with all of that. Um, and so it freaks them out when there's ever room for other religions. But they can pray for like a minute and hawk some app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize that the call to prayer was not already just protected speech because all it is is it, like I was raised Muslim. I'm not really religious now, but I was raised Muslim. The call to it's funny whenever these things infiltrate into American society outside of the normal bubbles, like within like the mosque or whatever, you know, because it's always presented as like this crazy thing. And it's like, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, yeah. like, oh, he said Allahu Akbar. It's like, he just said, God is great. That's it, that's it. <laughs> you know, it just sounds scary to you because you're racist. That's it, you know? Yeah. And with with Fox, you know, that's been an ongoing uh, tenet of their overall rhetoric. So it's really not surprising. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.